You see, anyone can click a photograph. But not everyone can be a photographer. Photographers are those who can take seconds or years to get that one shot. They say the power of their trigger is far greater than any weapon in this world. And it is indeed, for they can take us back in time. They have the ability to freeze time. They are madmen who can go to any extent for their shot. They are one of the oldest surviving species of visionaries. And today, we will find out who is the most visionary photographer in Kanan Devan Photography Escapade 3. Previously on the Kanandevan Photography Escapade 3, we saw the contestants experiencing the world of Srishti and finding the talisman of fire, before culminating their day at the beautiful Lakam Lagoon. And now it's their fourth and final day. The morning tea is always refreshing and it got even more exciting when the contestants got their first clue with it. It is time for yet another escapade into the scenic beauty of Munar. After going through some absolutely serene landscapes, the contestants finally reached Matupati. The teams choose different paths around the water body, but both had the same objectives. Great photography and finding the last talisman of water. Finding a talisman in this vastness is like finding a needle in the haystack. Let's go near the water. Okay. But it was the blue team who did some smart thinking by choosing to search near the water. I think I... I see yeah, something. Go and their search paid off. They found the last remaining talisman, the talisman of water, the fourth and final element that is essential to cultivate a refreshing cup of Kanandevan tea. On. The long one, huh? Uh-huh, this time it's... Congratulations upon discovering the... 
last and the final. But their journey doesn't end here. They found all four elements that go into the making of a refreshing cup of tea. But now they must head to Gundmalai and search for the final clue that will unlock their last location, a place where all four elements meet. Gundmalai, here we come! They have reached Gundamalai, the last stop for the day. Now they are just a step away from finding that elusive view where all four elements meet. And it was Kurian from the white team who found it. But it was not about teams anymore. Now they must all work together to decode the last piece of the puzzle. See, for this we have to work together. I'll, I'll, I'll read the clue for you. Okay. Okay. So, it says, you are grounded, connected, rooted, you're passionate, enthusiastic, bright. You are accepting, open and accommodating. You are energetic, swift and refreshing. Yet, despite your different hue, only when the talisman come together, yeah. do you see my point of view. So, there's a hint, it says, when you have the secret message, search for a few. So, we have to work together. So, guys, I think the only way we have to do this together. We are a team. Let's do one thing. Let's decode it and all 10 of us head to that view. Exactly. It's a fairly simple jigsaw puzzle where they just have to put together the pieces of a photograph and that will reveal their last location. just a journey for photography. It is also a personal quest for each one of them. A quest about desire, determination and perseverance. But like all good things, this journey too has come to an end. And now it's time for us to find out who will be crowned the best photographer of this season. Good evening guys. Good evening. Good evening. Today was the last day of the escapade. We left the best for the last. We got to travel to one of the most beautiful locations to have a finale and I hope you made the most of it. Finally, you were able to discover all the four elements. Earth, wind, fire and water. That's what makes a refreshing cup of tea. So, let's see what you have done today. Uh, Munnar is blessed with quite uh, beautiful landscapes and everything. So, this time I wanted to use some creative angle for the landscape. So, I tilted and took a portrait. And when I saw the image, it was giving a kind of mystical feel to the overall thing. I think it does seem that mood today at ease with the mist 
on the top was mystical but the feeling you want to portray here the mystique personally i feel that maybe you have revealed way too much so that question is not exactly translating here if at all you want to communicate that sense of mystique you could probably would have waited for a while because clouds were going to a lower mm-hmm. level as well so there's more uh, as in that drama was there throughout the evening with mm-hmm. the clouds otherwise yeah overall good match so personally i would have to admit that this has been one of my favorite locations in manar and in the top right corner i was actually naturally drawn into the leading lines it's a very strong composition and the element of earth is definitely in plenty and even the element of wind is right there the way the subtly his robe is flying his or hers it's very moody it's a very interesting photograph with the umbrella color there and leading lines you want, want to see where the road goes very good image thank you thank you so this was the image taken on the day one i had something in mind that something that belongs in the woods and flies around so yeah, i think on on creativity level this is the most interesting photograph we have in today's session so in a very symbolic way it does represent wind but otherwise uh, the place where we are i mean this is a very creative photograph but it could be taken inside a room also so that's exactly what is missing in this photograph it's good to go with the unique idea but you could have incorporated something more could have made a lot more difference this is my favorite image from the entire 3 days i didn't know like how long this rain was going to last as soon as i saw it i ran and i managed to reach this place in time you made it in time and i think you have captured all the elements you got gentle sunshine you got water you got wind it's it's all come together and you know the composition is nice it's not that your ra- rainbow is just you know squat in the center overall it's a great landscape photo and the rainbow is also it it adds so much more to the picture this is a very strong composition of us that again translates your love for the yellow truck but this time it has really paid off it looks quite nice i mean only points of improvement i see is maybe avoiding this patch so composing maybe a bit on the right hand side and maybe avoiding this part and composing it slightly up because this is out of focus which is good but it's not understandable exactly what it is what is out of focus here so otherwise yeah pretty good shot very good shot overall it was a great day of photography for all the contestants but in the end only one photograph can be the best of the day So guys here we are at the end of the session and as you know we have the image of the day but before we get on to that the quality of images has improved substantially and one of the key things that we noticed it's not like everyone seeing the same frame each person is making an effort to create something different and that effort is paramount so the image of the day goes to Adon Davis please come up as professional photographers also the most important thing is consistency so it's not about making one good image it's about making it continuously there have been some photographers who have been really consistent now is the time to announce the best photographers of this year's photography escapade the second runner up season winner is anand ramakrishnan Thank you Kanna Devan for selecting me as the second runner up. It was amazing 3 days well spent indulging completely in photography. And the first runner up is Bhavna. And I win the second prize. Thank you Kanna Devan for the wonderful opportunity. And the winner for this year's Kanna Devan Photography Escapade 3 the best photographer any guesses yeah. Yeah. it is rahul one three it feels super amazing to have won the kanan devan photography escapade 3 honestly i couldn't believe that my photos have been chosen as the best photos i feel that There was great competition and people from all over the country who took part in the competition. It was a very good 3 days with all of them and uh, I would like to thank the team as well for taking us to some amazing locations because of which we got some amazing photographs. 
Guys, the show is not over. The cherry on the top is still an image which one of you has taken, which is going to make its way onto the current day one limited edition tea pack. To find out the winning image, follow us on our social channels. Till then, keep clicking, keep sipping, and stay refreshed.